The Tri-State Tornado, USA, 1925 On March 18, 1925, one of the most catastrophic tornadoes in American history carved a path of destruction through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. Known as the Tri-State Tornado, this monstrous storm killed 695 people and injured over 2,000 others, making it the deadliest tornado in United States history. With an estimated rating of EF5, the tornado maintained a continuous path for an astonishing 219 miles and reached over a mile in width at certain points. It traveled at speeds exceeding 70 miles per hour, giving those in its path almost no time to react or seek shelter. Entire towns such as Murfreesboro, Illinois, were nearly obliterated. In Murfreesboro alone, 234 people died, which remains the highest tornado death toll in a single U.S. city. With no warning systems in place, residents were caught completely off guard. Homes, schools, farms, and entire neighborhoods were reduced to rubble within minutes. The Tri-State Tornado changed the course of meteorological history in America and remains the benchmark for worst-case tornado scenarios. The Dowlatpur Saturia Tornado, Bangladesh, 1989 On April 26, 1989, the deadliest tornado in world history struck Bangladesh, impacting the towns of Dowlatpur and Saturia. Approximately 1,300 people lost their lives, and more than 12,000 were injured. The tornado destroyed tens of thousands of homes and displaced over 80,000 people in a matter of minutes. With an estimated rating between EF4 and EF5, the tornado swept through a densely populated region with little to no warning. Several factors contributed to the staggering death toll. The population density in the area was extremely high, and most structures were made from vulnerable materials such as tin, bamboo, or mud. The region lacked adequate emergency communication infrastructure, and many residents were caught outdoors or in fragile homes. The magnitude of this disaster highlighted the vulnerability of developing countries to severe weather and emphasized the need for global investment in early warning systems and disaster preparedness. The Joplin Tornado, USA, 2011 The city of Joplin, Missouri, experienced one of the most devastating tornadoes in modern American history on May 22, 2011. In just 38 minutes, an EF-5 tornado tore through the city, killing 158 people and injuring more than 1,000 others. It caused an estimated $2.8 billion in damages, making it the costliest tornado in U.S. history. What made this event especially tragic was the tornado's direct strike on the city's core, including hospitals, schools, and commercial areas. St. John's Regional Medical Center suffered a direct hit, forcing a dangerous and chaotic evacuation of patients and staff. Thousands of homes were destroyed, and entire neighborhoods were flattened. Despite weather warnings being issued, many residents hesitated to act due to unclear messaging and a general disbelief that a storm of this magnitude could impact their area. After the disaster, the Joplin tornado became a case study in how communication, community awareness, and emergency response can significantly affect survival rates. It prompted sweeping changes in how the National Weather Service issues alerts and how communities prepare for extreme weather events. The Moore Tornado, USA 2013 On May 20, 2013, the town of Moore, Oklahoma, was struck by an EF-5 tornado that reached wind speeds exceeding 210 miles per hour. In total, 24 people were killed and over 200 were injured. The tornado was over a mile wide at times and stayed on the ground for 17 miles, carving a swath of destruction through residential neighborhoods and public buildings. Among the most heartbreaking aspects of this tornado was its impact on two elementary schools. At Plaza Towers Elementary School, the building collapsed, leading to the deaths of seven children. The community was left devastated, and the event reignited national debates about the importance of storm shelters in schools and public facilities. What made this storm even more haunting was its similarity to another EF-5 tornado that struck Moore in 1999, killing 36 people. The fact that the same community suffered such extreme events only 14 years apart underscored the vulnerability of regions in Tornado Alley and raised questions about building codes, emergency planning, and resilience. The Tuscaloosa-Birmingham Tornado, USA 2011 As part of the 2011 super outbreak, which generated 362 tornadoes across multiple states in a matter of days, 
The Tuscaloosa-Birmingham tornado stood out as one of the most devastating. On April 27, 2011, the tornado tore through densely populated parts of Alabama, killing 64 people and injuring more than 1,500. Rated EF4, the tornado traveled over 80 miles and reached a width of 1.5 miles, causing widespread destruction to homes, schools, businesses, and infrastructure. Despite being visible and well-tracked on radar, the tornado struck with such force that even people who had taken shelter found themselves in danger. Entire apartment complexes were leveled and significant portions of Tuscaloosa were left in ruins. The University of Alabama narrowly missed a direct hit. The aftermath was devastating, with thousands left homeless and without power or clean water. This tornado, along with others during the 2011 outbreak, changed how meteorologists, emergency managers, and the public viewed tornado warnings. It emphasized the importance of personal preparedness, immediate response to warnings, and the need for reinforced shelters even in urban environments. The Andohahela Tornado, Madagascar 2023 In February 2023, a rare and powerful tornado struck Andohahela, a rural region in Madagascar. Though tornadoes are uncommon in this part of the world, shifting climate patterns and unusual weather conditions triggered a destructive event that left at least 78 people dead and hundreds more injured. With an estimated rating of EF3, the tornado destroyed homes, schools, and agricultural land, leaving thousands of residents in urgent need of aid. What makes this tornado particularly significant is its location. Most residents of the region had never experienced a tornado before and were completely unprepared. The area had no warning systems in place, and many homes were constructed from weak materials that offered little to no protection. This event served as a grim reminder that climate change is reshaping the map of tornado-prone regions. Severe weather is no longer confined to familiar areas like the central U.S., it is now increasingly impacting regions without the infrastructure, knowledge, or preparedness to respond effectively. Ground Zero, St. John's Regional Medical Center One of the most haunting images of the Joplin tornado was the direct hit on St. John's Regional Medical Center, a major hospital serving the region. The massive building was pushed several inches off its foundation. Windows blew out, medical equipment was destroyed, and patients had to be evacuated in the middle of the storm. Some on foot, some carried by emergency responders who braved the raging wind and debris. First responders described walking into the ER entrance and finding nothing recognizable. Medical staff used flashlight apps on their phones to operate in the dark. Despite the chaos, many lives were saved thanks to the bravery and quick thinking of hospital workers. The Joplin tornado was especially tragic because it revealed flaws in the way people react to tornado warnings. The National Weather Service later conducted a study on warning effectiveness in the storm. While alerts were issued well before the tornado struck, many residents didn't take immediate action. People often waited for visual confirmation of the tornado before seeking shelter, a phenomenon called confirmation bias. The tornado's rain-wrapped structure made it hard to see. Many mistook it for a heavy thunderstorm until it was too late. Warning sirens had sounded multiple times earlier that year, so residents were experiencing warning fatigue, a state where people become desensitized to frequent alerts. This event led to nationwide changes in how warnings are issued and phrased. The National Weather Service began using impact-based warnings, including language like, this is a life-threatening situation to emphasize urgency, 